commend you on that strongly because, you know, as a fellow as a fellow Toastmaster, it's hard, you know, you know, to be consistent. And he's he's been very committed. He's from another state, so I, he's also here. And uh, I'm glad he got to the fit in this time before his term is over. So can we please welcome Nick? inspire you guys. Actually, I didn't think of that. It's what I have to do. <laughs> so hopefully, I'm going to inspire each and every one of you guys. But not yet. What I'm going to do first is tell you a story. This story is about me. And it's about how three short months ago, I was just an inexperienced young boy on his way to Miami. I had no idea what to expect. All I knew was I was going to Miami, and I remember getting the news that I was accepted into FIU, and I was like, sweet, going to school in Miami. I'm gonna walk straight out of my dorm and hit the beach. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster and fellow Miamians, this speech today is called Gratitude, and gratitude is the attitude that makes a difference. <laughs> Before I get there, let's go back to the young and experienced boy. See, when I got here, I had no idea what to expect. But I came, and I moved in to my dorm, and I got connected and plugged in, and I met some awesome people, and I got to have some really fun adventures. And I know there's still like a month left of school, and I hope I can have some more adventures in the next four weeks. But all the things I've been able to do in the past three months, I got to go to the Everglades and ride around on an airboat. And I got bitten by an alligator. What? I'm serious, it was this big and it bit my finger. <laughs> <laughs> and I lived to tell the tale. If that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what the heck does. I might as well just stop talking right now. And I got to go to Universal Studios up in Orlando, and I had my dreams come true as I entered into the magical world of Hogwarts. <laughs> and I met Harry Potter on screen in a 3D ride. He was there saying, come after me. I'm flying on my broom. I'm like, I'm right behind you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I wrote that thing twice. I was right behind him the whole time. <laughs> I got to laugh at everybody else standing in line because I went straight past them with my speed pass. Seriously, if you guys ever go to a theme park, get yourself a speed pass. Best 40 bucks I ever spent. I got to go to South Beach where I laid on the sand and got my tan on. So maybe when I go back home, people will believe me that I'm actually half Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little work to do still, but I'm on my way. So you see, when I came here, I was just a young, inexperienced white boy. But when I leave in a month from now, I'm going to be a mature Cuban man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take some lessons home that I learned with me. For example, when I go home, I'm going to kiss all my friends on the cheek. <laughs> like, Nick, what are you doing? No one does that in Texas. I'm going to be like, dude, get over here and let me kiss you. <laughs> I call girls dude, okay? Just <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Extra recklessly. <laughs> but most importantly, I've learned how to use the word ratchet. 
you can bet your ratchet butt, I'm taking that word back home to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Spreading that thing. So you see, I've learned a lot of valuable lessons. And while it appears from what I've said so far, and I've just been doing shenanigans since I've been here, there's actually more that I've done. See, I joined an amazing club. What's it called? It's called Toastmasters. Woo. Woo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and by you, business Toastmasters, to be exact. And this has been an awesome experience. And this is, even though this could be my last speech for you guys, I didn't want to leave without saying thank you. See, I almost didn't come. The only reason I'm here is because my friend, my best friend from back home, he called me up. He's like, Nick, we need to become public speakers. I was like, okay, let's do it. So I got on my computer. <laughs> I stopped playing my video game. <laughs> and I searched for a Toastmasters group in Miami. And lo and behold, there was one here on campus. I could walk to that thing. Good, because I don't have a car. <laughs> if I couldn't walk to it, I wouldn't be there. So I was like, awesome. I decided to make a leap of faith. And I liked the Facebook page. <laughs> the first step I took. But then I took another leap of faith. And I went to the first meeting. And as soon as I got there, and saw these people in suits and ties, and I was like, man, I should have brought my suit with me from back home. But it was just a great vibe and environment. And from the minute I got there, I knew this was going to be something that I would like and I would enjoy. It's like, this is, these are my kind of people. I like this. And I remember after the first meeting, I walked up to Jose, and I slapped down the money for that CC book. And I was like, just wait. By the end of the semester, I'm going to finish this book. And in a few short minutes, that's actually going to come true. But before I leave, I just want to say thank you to you guys. Because gratitude is the attitude that changes everything. See, a smart person once said, what you focus on grows. Focus on things that are positive. Focus on uplifting things, things that you want to move towards, and they'll grow. Don't focus on negative, what's wrong, what is going bad in my life, because that will grow. Mm. What you focus on expands. So I want all of you guys to focus on what's good and what's awesome in this Toastmasters group. And I know... Jordan, who was sitting up there, left. I was going to say thank you to him, because after every speech, no matter who was my evaluator, I would go talk to him. I'd be like, dude, what did you think? What did you like? What did you not like? And I valued his opinions. And I would also say thank you for letting me ride in your Stang. <laughs> yeah, a sweet Mustang, for those of y'all who don't know. I got to ride in that. Now I say thank you to Jose for showing me and introducing me to an amazing tasting hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> and pepitos. Hey. That just fill my belly with joy. And I'm sorry you didn't get one I wanted to So I want to say thank you to all of you guys. Because while it's been a great experience being here this semester, and I wish I could be with you guys next semester. I want you to become even better. As good as you are now, and you are good, I want you guys to grow and get even better next semester. I want to hear stories of how FIU, Business Toastmasters, this thing with the super long name, is getting <laughs> even better next semester. <laughs> Maybe you can work on that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and when I go home, I'm going to join a Toastmasters group back in Denton, Texas. But I'm always going to remember the one here that got me started. For you guys helped me grow a passion that I didn't even know I had and gave me valuable feedback and let me stand up here 
for 10 speeches and let me talk to you guys. And you've helped me get better at something that I really love and I really enjoy doing. So before I leave, and I'm kind of sad this is my last speech, but I thank you for bearing with me all the way from an icebreaker until now. So I just want to say to you guys, I'm very grateful. I want to express my gratitude and hope that you guys will incorporate gratitude into your life. Because gratitude is the attitude that makes a difference. So I want to say, thank you guys.